Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katarina. Today's video is going to be something new. I'm really excited about this but I have never done a video like this before so we will see how it goes. For a while now I have wanted to do something that allows me to rotate through my lip products as well as track the progress. So I came up with this idea that I want to do a seasonal lip product usage and progress tracking system. So I started doing this in the beginning of December and I'm now filming on February last and I will be updating you about the usage and progress during winter time. Tomorrow I will start tracking for spring. So let's get into it. I think this is probably going to be a little bit longer video. When I started this tracking in the beginning of December I had 25 lip products in total in my collection. So one tinted lip balm five lip glosses, five lip liners, 12 lipsticks and four liquid lipsticks. And I was able to finish one lipstick. Unfortunately, I don't have this anymore because this one was in my 22 in 2022 project pan and I was able to finish it in December. But this was the Too Faced Natural Nude lipstick in the set birthday suit. I absolutely did love this lipstick. It was a beautiful nude and it only took six uses for me to finish the lipstick. I used it a ton during the past years. I will be decluttering one, but I will talk about it as we go through the uses. I added three lip products into my collection. These are all lipsticks. So two from the Catrice Scandalous Matte line. I bought the shade Nude Obsession and Rosy Seduction. I will show you swatches of these here. And then I bought the Essence Hydra Matte Lipstick in the shade Peach It. And these I bought last week and I have not used them yet. I have been trying to figure out my personal colors during the past couple of months, I guess. I actually would like to get my colors <laughs> analyzed professionally, but right now since I'm a student, we have a new baby on the way. I thought, you know, it's not necessarily the first priority with my money. So I rather wanted to try to figure it out myself. So with the help of the color analysis subreddit and with watching a lot of video, reading a lot of information, doing some fabric draping on myself, uh, doing lipstick draping on myself with no makeup on, I am now really confident that I am actually warm. So there are two seasons that are cool. They are winter and summer and then two seasons that are warm, spring and autumn. The people on Reddit were actually saying that I'm most likely a spring, which I was really surprised about. I thought that it's something I should explore more. I have been drifting some spring colored clothing. But then I also thought that I would like to add a couple of these spring lipstick colors into my collection because unfortunately I don't have those. So, you know, I thought I will buy a couple from Essence and Catrice because I do really enjoy the brands and because they are affordable. So yeah, I'm excited to try these lipsticks and explore the color analysis thing more. But I won't be talking about it for that much longer. If you want to, I can do a whole separate video about myself trying to figure out my color season. Now we will actually get to my lip product usage. So the way I'm going to go through my collection is that I will talk about the lip products in order of which I used the most to which ones I used the least. And I will also show you swatches of everything. So the lip product I used the most during the winter season is this one. This is the Catrice Powerful 5 Lip Care in the set Charming Rose. I used it in total 23 times. And this is the lip product that I'm wearing today. The reason I have used it so many times is that it is in my 23 in 2023 project pan. It's not my favorite lip product, that's why it is in the project. I want to finish it 
As you can see, it is this really, really pale color. It has a slightly pink tint to it and it has a slight pearly finish to it. It works on no makeup makeup looks. It works on more light toned makeup looks. But if I'm wearing like a too dramatic eyeshadow look, for example, this is really going to wash me out. And I feel it is kind of like a fine line where the look is too dramatic for this lip product and when it's not. I do want to finish this during the spring season. So hopefully in the next video like this, this one will be an empty. The lip product I used the most after the Catrice Tinted Lip Balm I used 18 times and this is a lip liner. It's the Gosh Velvet Touch Lip Liner in the set Nougat Crisp. This one I used so many times because it's also in my 23 in 2023 project pan. I'm trying to finish it this year because I do have another lip liner that is kind of similar to this. So I don't need both. And the next product is also a lip liner. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the set Iconic Nude. And this one I actually used 15 times. And uh, yeah, it's not in my project pan but this is just a lip liner that goes with almost anything. The gouache lip liner I do wear if I want that more rosy nude, but it doesn't necessarily work with all of my lipsticks. When this is a nude that I can really wear with any nude lipstick and it will work. So that's why I have used it so many times. And then the next lip product and the last one that I used more than 10 times is this one. This is the Balm Meet Matte Hues liquid lipstick and it is in the set Committed. I used it 12 times. This is in my 23 in 2023 project pan also, so that's the reason I used it that many times. I actually do really enjoy this color. It is this rosy, a little bit warmer lip color. However, I don't feel it's necessary to have a color like this in a liquid lipstick formula, so... Because of that, I do want to finish this this year and because of that, I have used it so many times. But unfortunately, the weight of this did not go down. It weighed 16 grams when I started the tracking, so in the beginning of December. And although I used it quite a few times, it still weighs 16 grams. Okay, so now we will get to the lip products that I used under 10 times, but I still did use them. So next is the NYX Butter Gloss in the set Madeleine. This one is a really neutral nude lip gloss. I don't now remember if the most times that I used this was after finishing the Too Faced lipstick or before that. But this is something that if I'm going for a really really neutral no makeup makeup look, this is what I would wear. Recently the no makeup makeup looks I have done have pulled a little bit more pink because I have wanted to wear the tinted lip balm that I'm wearing right now as well as the blush that I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing an eyeshadow, the strawberry bonbon shade from the chocolate bar. But I think in December especially I wasn't kind of like ready for pinky toned looks yet and I felt like doing just more neutral looks and this is the one that I used for those looks. This is a beautiful lip gloss. One of my favorites in my collection, if not my favorite, because this is something that it would go with any look. And then there are two lip products that I actually used for six times. So the Too Faced lipstick that I mentioned already that I was able to finish. Unfortunately, I do not have a swatch for that because I don't have the lipstick anymore. But in tone, it was actually quite close to the NYX Madeleine. It was just more pigmented, obviously, because it's a lipstick and not a lip gloss. Another one that I used six times is another lip gloss. This one is the Balm Pretty Smart Lip Gloss or Read My Lips Lip Gloss. It depends where you buy it. But this one is in the set Grr. If I can mark progress lines, I will do that. But I do weight the lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. This is the only one of those type of products where the weight has gone down during the past three months. So in the beginning of December, this weighed 16 grams and now it weighs 15 grams. 
To be completely honest, this is not my favorite lip gloss anymore because this is kind of cool and I just think this is that kind of color that doesn't suit me the best, but I'm not ready to declutter this one yet. I still want to try to get more use out of it and try to make it work. The fun thing about it is that this used to be my favorite lip gloss. This is a repurchased one. I liked it so much that I repurchased it. And now I have started not liking it as much. I wore it quite a few times in December and in the really, really, really beginning of the year. And I just felt a little bit off when I wore it. Then there are two lip products that I used four times. And these are my kind of like cooler toned nude lip products. These are colors that I'm typically quite a bit into during winter time. And I'm surprised I didn't wear them more, but I guess it is because they're not in a project pan, but I still enjoy these colors during winter time. So the Gimme Glow Cosmetics Vivid Lip Paint is said Liquid Kitty. This is basically a really, really pigmented lip gloss. And then the Inglot lipstick, this one is made in collaboration with J.Lo. This is in the shade mauve. The tones of these are really similar. This one is just a really, really matte. In fact, I'm not the biggest fan of this because it's so matte, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. I feel it's something that for me, it's necessary to wear a lip balm under this. Then it works pretty nice, but typically that's something I would do with a liquid lipstick, not with a bullet lipstick. But yeah, even though I wore this one four times during the past month, there's not really progress that I could show on paper. So from now on, I will not be showing you progress lines because I just didn't use the lip products enough to see any progress on paper. And then there is one lip product that I used three times and it is the Catrice Shine Bomb Lipstick in the set Divine Femininity. It is this kind of like rosy neutralist color in this beautiful kind of like shiny formula, but it's not glittery or anything like that. I do think this is quite pretty. This is a new lip product to my collection. I bought it, I believe in November. Okay, so we're getting to the really low numbers and here I do have a lot of lip products. So first two uses. I do have here two lip liners. So the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in the set Earthy. This is the one that is pretty similar to the Gosh Nougat Crisp. And since I'm trying to pan Nougat Crisp, I don't really wear this unless I feel the Nougat Crisp is too dark for my look. This is a little bit lighter in tone than Nougat Crisp. So they're not identical, but the tone is really similar. So. That's why I used this so few times. And then another lip liner I wore two times is the Gosh Velvet Touch Lip Liner in the set Cardinal Red. So yes, my red lip liner. And I in fact wore red lipstick only twice during the past three months, which feels really weird because red is my favorite lip product color, but for some reason I just didn't wear it more. I would love to wear red lipstick more, but I guess it is that I don't allow myself to wear it necessarily, unless it is a special occasion, because I have so many other lipsticks that I would like to pan, that I would like to rotate through and all of that. However, a lot of the times, when it is a special occasion, I will wear a red lipstick. Then there are three lipsticks that I wore twice during the past three months. So first, the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Lipstick in the set Nude Kate. And this one is also in my 23 in 2023 project pan. However, it is not a color that I am that much into during winter time because it has so clear, warm yellow undertone to it. So I don't think it necessarily fits to the eyeshadow looks and stuff that I like to wear during winter. This is the lip product I wore on Christmas Eve. I was supposed to wear a red lipstick, but then I decided to go for this kind of golden green eyeshadow look because it was the last time that I created my look from the Ciate London Olivia Palermo eyeshadow palette. That was my Pantat palette last year. And I wanted to wear the green for the one last time and I felt that red lipstick would be too much with that eyeshadow look, so I went for this lipstick instead. Another lipstick I wore twice is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Perfect Red. So as I mentioned when I was talking about the lip liner, I only did red lips 
twice. Okay, I don't remember now if I mentioned it in the beginning of the video or not, that I decided to declare one lip product from my collection. And it is this one. This is the Urban Decay Wise Lipstick in the set Back Talk. Yeah, I wore this twice during the past three months. Once somewhere in December and then once within the past couple of weeks. I also tried it on once for lipstick draping. So I tried on like, as I was talking about the color analysis, I tried on lipsticks representing different seasons. And this is the only one that I think clearly represents winter because it's so it's this kind of like cool toned pinky berry color i didn't count that try on towards my usage because i only you know track the use if i wear the lip product for a makeup look and that was just me trying on different colors so not doing a makeup look i have felt so of wearing this for a long long time and this one, when I put it on with no makeup, it just looks so horrible on me. This really clashes with my skin tone because it's so cool and it just looks off. I think this kind of color, it tends to make me look sick and it does not look flattering at all. This is in fact something that I have previously once decluttered from my collection, but then I took it back because I hear people loving this lipstick, but what someone else loves doesn't necessarily work that well on me if we do have like different skin tone and all of that. This one, unfortunately, it just does not work with my complexion. I'm going to unfortunately declutter that lipstick now for good from my collection. I was almost going to move on to the lip products I used only once during the past month, but in fact there is one more that I used twice. This is a liquid lipstick. It is the Ball Mid Matthews liquid lipstick and it is in the side Charming. This is another lip product that I used to really love, but I don't necessarily love it quite as much anymore. However, I do still really much enjoy it and I'm going to keep it in my collection. I just don't know if it is the most flattering lip product for me personally. So yeah, next we can move on to the lip product that I actually only used once during the past three months, but it's better than zero uses because I also do have those that I didn't use a single times. So two of my lip glosses I only wore once during the past season. So first the Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the set Fuzzy. This one is my newest lip gloss. I bought it in fall and you know this is just not a color that I would really enjoy during winter time necessarily. For me it is kind of like a sheer pink with shimmer type of lip gloss is clearly a spring and summertime gloss. No matter of the tone necessarily, but especially a pink. I cannot really see myself wearing it other than in spring and summer. And then another lip gloss I wore only once. This is the Floss, uh, my new favorite lip gloss in the set LAX. And this one is a pink nude lip gloss. I actually really, really do enjoy this color and I'm sure I would have worn it a ton more if I wasn't panning the tinted lip balm that I'm wearing today. Then there are three traditional lipsticks that I wore once during the winter season. So first is the Charlotte Tilbury a Matte Revolution lipstick in the set Pillow Talk. So one of the most iconic Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. The reason I didn't wear it more is that this one is quite close to the Balm Committed that I am panning in my 23 in 2023. The Balm lipstick is a little bit more kind of like a vibrant, warm, rosy color where this one is a little bit more muted but they are really really close to each other. Next is the Essence uh, Cool Collagen Lipstick in the set My Mind. I wore it once I think the last week and this is the lipstick when I did the lipstick draping for the color analysis thing that I wore for the sake of summer so I wanted to go for something more cool toned and light I don't really have lipsticks like that in my collection because I think they can be extremely unflattering on me, especially if they're matte. They tend to make me look like a corpse. So this one didn't look quite as bad as the winter one, but it was not the prettiest on me, on my bare face. However, with makeup on and especially on top of a nude 
lip liner this is going to look better and actually pretty nice and it feels pretty nice and I'm sure I can get it used up but it's not a favorite lipstick of mine and then last is the Essence Hydra Matte lipstick in the set Honestly. This one is in tone quite close to the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate but this one is deeper which I actually prefer because the Nude Kate is kind of pale and I don't like lip products too pale as I was talking about the lip balm that I'm wearing right now I feel that two pale lip products can so easily wash me out and then there is one liquid lipstick that I wore once during the past month and it is the Kat Von D or KVD Vegan Beauty it is nowadays I think uh, the everlasting liquid lipstick in this Loli Tattoo they actually have relaunched this lipstick line I don't think it's called the same anymore and the shades are not the same I don't know if it is reformulated but yeah I wore this once it is this kind of like really warm color that I wouldn't be that much into in winter so it must have been somewhere in December then we do have unfortunately some lip products where I do have zero uses now some of these I'm not that worried about. It's maybe a seasonal thing, but some of them, you know, I will need to follow during this year and see if I actually use them because they feel something that I wouldn't necessarily reach for that much anymore. But yeah, we'll see. Well, first is a lip liner. This is the Gosh Velvet Touch lip liner in the shade Rising. This one is a brown lip liner. I actually really do love this color. I think this is great, but I just have not worn a lipstick that would require a lip liner like this. Then there are some lipsticks. So the Memi Luxe lipstick in the set You Wish. This is a lighter peachy nude. Now I will say this is maybe a little bit too light for me. I can make it work, but I would prefer like a peachy nude that is just a hint deeper. However, a peachy nude is not something that I would really wear during winter time. It's something I would wear any other season, during spring, during summer, during fall, but in winter if I'm going for a nude, it's usually going to be that more cool toned nude or then a pinky nude. Then the NYX matte lipstick in the shade Alabama I used zero times during the past three months. As I said, I only wore red lipstick twice and I wore the NYX Perfect Red. This one is a deeper red and I actually used it quite a few times in fall. However, when talking about a holy grail red, this one doesn't quite compare to the perfect red one, although I do still really enjoy this. But then the next two products that I will mention, those are the ones that I'm worried about and I'm thinking if I even should have them in my collection or not at this point. So the NYX Simply Vamp Lip Cream in the set Covet, this one has so many of my other lip products are repurchased. I really used to love this lip product but I'm just not that much into vampy lip products anymore and this is the only like truly vampy lip color I have in my collection anymore because I just don't wear them. I think they can look so severe on me. This is beautiful. The reason why I love this is that it has this metallic finish to it which I think makes it really interesting and also a little bit more wearable because I feel a vampy lipstick, if it is completely matte, it can look like it sucks the life out of my face. But then I don't want to wear anything that is like too much of a satin finish because I'm worried that it's going to spread <laughs> like across the lip line. But this one is interesting because the finish is feeling kind of like matte but it looks metallic. So it's really, really beautiful and interesting but it's just not something that I wear. I cannot see myself really wearing at all during springtime, maybe in the end of summer, maybe in fall, but I actually think I didn't wear this at all in 2022. And if that happens in 2023, in that case I need to let go of this even if it is beautiful. But I don't want to have something just in case and then I don't wear it like at all. Then there is one liquid lipstick that I didn't wear during the past three months and it is the from 
long lasting liquid lipstick in the set Las Olas and this is my brown lipstick. I just don't think brown is the most flattering lipstick for me personally. At least this kind of brown. This is a really warm brown which I kind of like but I think it can be maybe a little bit too bold. There's something not feeling quite right about it and that also you know makes me think color season wise that I'm not necessarily an autumn season and I probably am a spring season but I'm not fully sure yet. But um, yeah I didn't wear it during the past three months. I wore it once in fall. You know I was thinking about decluttering it then. For sure I will need to see if I wear it this year or not. For now both of these are going to stay in my collection even though they feel they are not kind of like my best lip colors. And then of course the new lipsticks that I added to my collection last week from Catrice and Essence they I didn't yet wear so they have zero uses but of course I'm not worried about it because they are new. I still have a ton of time to wear them. Okay so that was my lip product collection usage for winter and the progress with my lip products. I know it was such a long video it took forever to film but I quite enjoyed talking about my lip products. So as a reminder I finished one lip product in winter and one I decided to declutter and I added three lipsticks into my collections. In spring I do want to finish the tinted lip balm that I am wearing today. I'm sure I can do it. I want to get it out of my collection so yeah then I can enjoy a lot of other lip products that I do have. But yeah, that was really everything for today. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you want to see more of these seasonal updates. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please put thumbs up and see you on my next one. Bye bye.